We dream of that summer time we took you over to your place uh we'll be back really soon anybody want to come uh we'd love to <laughs> hi joanne hi cindy hello hi hey, how's your play oh pretty good jimmy very good food wow. oh no you don't fellas this has to last all week oh no you don't fellas this has to last all week oh no oh. would you like something to eat <laughs> He'd love something to eat. <laughs> uh, how about one of those Twinkies? Oh, sure. Anything for you. It's just wonderful seeing you again. Marvy. <laughs> Ocean City. What do I know from Ocean City? I can drive to Dallas, Texas for all I care. Jeez, Jerry, my boss. I take the van, he doesn't even know it. Next thing I know, there's gonna be police down here dragging that after me. I'm gonna go up on a bulwark and I'm gonna spend all my bucks. Jeez, and I bet you this town ain't got no chicks in. I bet you broke a sweat out city right here. Hey, Mike, this place don't look too exciting. Why couldn't we go to Fire Island or up to Catskills like we always do? Look, we go there every year. I figure we need a change. Don't give me a hard time. No place to drink, no place to dance. Where are you gonna get this dive anyway, Mikey? Come on, now, I gotta take a leak. Now remember, Anthony, you keep your eye peeled for tunas. Tuna? Yeah, keep your eye out for tunas. What do we need tuna fish for? Am I all letting him eat three pounds of meatballs? You eat straws, not food, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right, lad, man. 
was. Hey, not fair, not fair. Not fair, huh? Hey, Mikey, we stopping here? Look, Frank, you know you start giving me a hard time. I huh? didn't say nothing. So this is where we're staying, huh? Yeah, I got a good deal for the week. Hey, who's living on the second floor? What is this, 20 questions? I don't know. Whoever rented it lives there. Come on, come on already. I gotta take a leak. All right, come on, get in. You gotta go. Good afternoon, ladies. And I use that time loosely. How are you on this fine, fine day? Hey, would you ladies gear up for some popcorn? If I wanted popcorn, I'd go to the movies. I'll tell you, these things look nice, but they're made so cheap, forget them. Fruit, fruit. I mean, it's a stink. Give me a 66 or a 67. You know, that's when cars were built solid, able to withstand the rigors of the road. And I like this, Uncle Junk. True, true. I can rip this thing off in two minutes. Hey, you, you won't go for a ride? Absolutely. Hey, you guys, get away from the car. Hey, what? Yo, you heard the man. You want me to come down there and take you back to the zoo? You guys own this piece of garbage? What'd you do, save up green stamps or something? <laughs> Maybe one of the raffle. <laughs> you want me to come down there and kick your ass? You're cranky. I think he's threatening you. Let me do it. 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 Let me I'm interrupting here. What's going on? Hey, we got all friendly neighbors up here. Look, Frankie, we're going to be here a week with these people. Be good, please. Okay, be good. Be good, be good. All you tell me is be good. I'll be good. Oh, yeah, be good. <laughs> Angie, okay? Did I hurt you? You think you got enough food in that snook? Yeah, I got enough food. It lasts me a couple of days. A couple of days? Looks like getting up for a couple of weeks. This place ain't too bad, no. You want to spend this vacation on your ranch again? I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing. Every party is relaxed. That's the problem. They got salt and pretzels. They got salt water toffee. Yes, oh, no. Not with the George Washington again. <laughs> I'll have you know. George Washington is the greatest man who ever lived in the history of the world. If it wasn't for George Washington, you and you and me, we wouldn't be here today. 200 years ago, he gave us our freedom, and we still got our freedom. And if people like you and him would think about that a little more, maybe this country would be a better place to live in. Now, let's go to the boardwalk. What's the matter? Aren't you two coming? No, we're going to stay. Oh, well, there's some meatballs in the refrigerator if you want to make sandwiches. See you later. Oh, and there's some frozen Hawaiian punch in the icebox. I'll give you a Hawaiian punch if you don't get out here. Okay, Angela, well, have a nice time. Oh, and don't forget to close the refrigerator door all the way, because the heat spoils everything fast. Okay, okay Angela. Angela. Will you come on? Coming! Look, I'll see you two later, and behave yourselves. Yes, Mommy. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Bunk Rocker, you look like a faggot with that earring on. Thanks, Pizza Face. I got it from your mother. Hey, don't you talk about my mother, man. Come on, thank you. What planet are they from? The clown with a hat looks like he just got off the boat. Looks like they're our neighbors for the week. It can't be any worse than your friends. At least they're fun to be with. I didn't like the way that one kid was looking at you. I did. He was cute. Packing up and leaving town. Gassing up my wheels, I'm heading down. To a place where there's lots of sand. The beach and strip has got some rocking bands. There's lots of guys making eyes at the youth they see. Party's going on to the quarter to three. Talking about where you should be. Whoa. Ocean City. Where the head is hanging down A hound is all you need to get around Forty guys sharing just one room
Ooh, nudge. Check out those gams. Hi there, neighbor. You guys my neighbor? That's right, my little sandpaper. Googie and I here would just like to extend a warm invitation to uh, show you around and expose you to a little mirth and merriment. Just right upstairs. Yeah, feel free to come up. You guys going up right now? Yeah, the bar just opened. And it's ladies' night. Care to join us on a little whistle wedding? Sure, fellas. Help me up. <laughs> What's your name, honey? My friends call me Nudge. You want to be my friend? <laughs> my name's Cecile Gallerino. Hey, where are you guys from? Outside of Philly, right near Villanova. I'm from Brooklyn. I've never been down here before. I went to Asbury Park for a concert once, but I've never been down here. Oh, well, welcome to Ocean City. Celebrating a century of serenity. Yeah, we come down here every year. You guys have a good time? Hey, we have a good time everywhere, sister. Come on, let's show you around. to meet our new downstairs neighbor, Cecile. So if you want to borrow any sugar, here's the sugar. The livers and lovers of life welcome you with open zippers. I mean arms, baby. What? The livers and lovers of life to tell it like it is, the way it was, and how it always will be. Ooh. You look like your mind's a million miles away. No, not that far. Just downstairs. You're with those guys downstairs? Yeah. What's with that wise guy with the hat? He's really cruising for a bruise and interrupting my bruising. Oh, Frankie, he just gets a little carried away sometimes. Yeah, well, if he doesn't watch his step, he'll get carried away, all right. On a stretcher. <laughs> <laughs> Can I interest you in some liquid refreshment, oh. my fair lady? Why, sure, big boy. Oh, baby. How about a supersonic gin and tonic? Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. Jimmy, I'm not so sure I can take this all week. I thought we outgrew this in high school. What do you think I came here to do? Be with me. Can I get drunk and be with you at the same time? Oh, is that the order of your priorities? Drinking, then me? What do you think? Who's that quiet boy that's with you guys? Who? You know, the one with the blue shirt. Anthony? Oh, he's really shy, honey. He'd probably shit in his pants if a pretty chick like you tried to talk to him. I mean, he got a rash after his first R-rated movie. <laughs> It's getting late. I'm ready for some nightlife. Let's hit the bars. It's only 4.30. Hey, so I'm a derelict. I admit it. Want to come along, baby? Sure, baby. Just let me go change into my dance and clothes. Okay, let's go. Louie! Louie! Where's the seal? I don't know. Give me a beer. <laughs> Oh, my. 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 Oh,
much. Hey, what do you say, Davies? Let's make Cecile a lover and lover of life. Oh, right. 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 That means yes. <laughs> hey, hey, it's almost two. You guys want to drop Cindy off? I'll guard her with my life. Just get her back to her apartment is all I ask. Shit, it's almost two o'clock. Louie will have a fit. Louie? Who's Louie? My boyfriend. Uh... But he doesn't interfere with my love life. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hey, let's go to the boardwalk, babies. I really shouldn't. Oh, please. Ah, but the boardwalk is beautiful at this time of night. The moon, the stars. Oh, no, you're so romantic. Doesn't your brother want you in bed? I sure do. I'm 18, I can do what I want. Honey, I was your age when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer true. I'm half crazy, oh, for the love of you, of you. Hey, that's a seal, that's it. Where? Yeah. Put those guys from upstairs. Hey, Anthony, get a load of that blonde. <laughs> Let's go. On the seat of a bicycle built for two. I see you finally woke up. Yeah, I woke up. I woke up eight hours ago, and I didn't see you sleeping next to me nowhere. I want you to meet Louie Campisi, Angelo Zambuca. You can call him Snooky, and that's Anthony. Isn't he cute, Cindy? This is Googie. And Mooch. And this is Drake. And this is Baby. Oh, Baby. They made me a liver and lover of life. That's right. They what? You better believe it. What'd they do to you? What'd you do to her? Pull it, Louie. See you all later. Thanks for a really great time. Daisy, Daisy. Give me your answer, What do you mean, thanks for a really great time? Just what I said, sleepyhead. I was worried about you. I was looking for you all night. Aw, how sweet. Did you get enough rest, I hope? Yeah, but now I'm tired again because we're looking for you all night. Making me sick. Enough of that. Ah, oh, that's a good time. Give me a break, will you please? I'm starving. Yeah, I can use some food myself. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, you know, we could hit the pile of diner. It's still open. Great. Got any money? <laughs> got any? You're asking me if I got any money? Yeah. Have you ever sung Baroque music, buddy? Yeah. Well, I'm singing Baroque right now. You got me? You get my drift? Yeah. I had a lot of money in this pocket. Now, nah, the only thing I got in there is lint. I took you out tonight. I bought you all your drinks. I bought Cecile the drinks that you said you bought for her. I'm broke. I don't like it. It's getting me a little bit irritable, okay? Okay, okay. Now, look, I don't want to argue with you, okay? Well, maybe I, I want to argue, okay? Look, it's making me angry. You want to have an argument? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool out, right. please. I'm, 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 I'm cool. I'm cooler than you. All right, look, I'll tell you what. I think I know where my wallet is. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to find a warm, hot cockle in my heart. Maybe I'll slip you a buck. You can buy yourself a Coke. How about that, uh, okay? Uh, a buck? Mm -hmm. hey, you know what you're going to do? You're going to get out and buy me... Two cheeseburgers, about yay high, Shit. lettuce, tomato, onions, mustard, ketchup, the works. On the north over here, we have a little bowl of chili. Over there, we have a little coleslaw. And a waitress is going to sashay in that restaurant and bring me a bowl of fries that I can swim in. <laughs> like it? Forgetting yeah, anything like dessert, maybe? You want some of that? Yeah, I want dessert. I want to ride home in a limo. Shame. That sounds scrumptious, babies. Yeah, sure, huh? Right. Oh, wait a minute, wait. I got a better plan. Sit down, sit down. This is called Operation Icebox. 
Okay? <laughs> Get ready. Here we go. Look, Googie and I spotted at the chick's place today. They got plenty of food. They got steaks. Steaks? They got eggs. Eggs? They got everything. <laughs> All we have to do is sneak in the back really quietly, and we're munching like kings and like Flint. Ooh, well, listen, babies. This plan calls for care, skill, and above all, creativity. Amen. Oh, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Babe, it's cool out, man. You want the man to come here? First, some eggs. Hey, I love some steak with those eggs. Yeah, that's good. Right. 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 I'm buzzing. You're buzzing. Cut it up. How about some taters? Just what I needed. Now, aren't you glad we cleaned this place up already? Dig it, man. I'm Crash City. Yeah, I'd like to cop 40 winks. My compliments to the chef. Glad you enjoyed it, boys. That'll be 10 bucks. Look, how about if we make it up to you tonight? We'll have a turkey and tequila party, and we'll even buy everything. After all, it's the 4th of July. Yeah, it'll be fun. What time? Shall we say 7? We shall. This time, bring your roommates. Give a guy a break, will ya? Sorry I scared you. The door was open, so I just wandered in. Pretty tacky place you got here. Mind if I make myself at home? Thanks. We were just on our way to the beach. You know, you look like you got enough sun already. Uh, you could develop uh, herpes or skin cancer or something. I don't even know you. It's none of your business anyway. Wow! Hey, introduce me to your friend. Bug off. Hi there, cutie. My name's Marty. Delighted. Is he one of yours, Terry? No, he just wandered in. He's just gonna have to wander right back out again. Get lost. You know, you're a snobby one, but you got good diction. Repeat after me. My daddy's rich. <laughs> hey, I'm not through getting acquainted yet. Why don't you just go crawl back into your hole, Buster? Hey, don't get so touchy. I'm just trying to be gregarious. Bye, girls. Nice meeting you. What a creep. I don't like that guy. It gives me the willies. Oh, wait a minute. You went that thing in public. Forget it. Why? Why? Because your boobs are hanging out. That's why. Well, they're not. You can't see anything. Angela, you're going to stand here in front of the father of our country and tell me that you can't see anything? with the guys upstairs. They're sweethearts. Sweethearts? You already got a sweetheart. Me? Yeah, but you're Brooklyn's answer to Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> we went partying down in Avalon. You're making me thirsty. Hey, Mike, you know who I'm Ryan. Hey, Andrew, you got my towel? Yeah. There you go. Come on. Frankie, ain't you going in the water? No way. There's all living things in that water. <laughs> you go in the water at Coney Island? Come on, Anthony. You know there's no self-respecting fish around Brooklyn. Hey, don't be ridiculous, Frankie. Didn't you see Jaws? It was just a movie. Yeah, Jaws 2 was a movie with a shark eats the whole helicopter. 
Forget it. The only kind of fish I'm interested in are the kind walking around in bikinis. Hey, you guys want a bite of my sandwich? Okay. Hey, Angela, look at that guy over there with the blonde hair. What a bud. You see, how come you always point out good-looking guys to me? You know I'm not interested. Maybe you don't know what you're missing. I'm not missing anything. I got Michael. Michael looks at other chicks. No, he doesn't. No, once in a while. Don't let him bullshit you. What do you think he wears those mirrored sunglasses for? Well, I think they look cool. Yeah, well, he wears them so he can look, and you don't see where he's looking. Uh... Hey, Mike, get on water's wet. Did you go in the water? Nah, he's afraid of fish that eat helicopters. Hey, I'm thirsty. I'm going up to the boardwalk to get something to drink. Yeah, I'm thirsty too. I'll come with you. Got my towel, Angela. My glasses. Hey, Cecilia, you didn't get me one of those big pretzels, you know, with the salt all around and everything? Sure. Would you uh, put a little suntan lotion on my back, please? Michael? Yeah? Do you wear those sunglasses so you can look at the girls and no one can see where you're looking? No, Angela, I wear them because of the sun. Oh. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. This is my friend Terry. Cecile and Anthony live downstairs from my brother. Oh, hi, pleased to meet you. How do you like it down the shore? Well, I'll tell you, Terry, I wasn't too thrilled at first, but now I really like it thanks to Cindy and the guys. Anthony, would you mind putting some suntan lotion on my back? It would look kind of funny if the girls did it. You know, I got a cousin named Terry Von Levan Levanas. Come on, you look thirsty. Let's go to the boardwalk. See ya. You're the second person I ever met from Brooklyn. Cecile was the first. Have you ever met anyone from Philly? No, uh, but I like Rocky. Anthony, you'll have to do my whole back or else I'll peel. I always heard that mostly gangsters live in Brooklyn. That's not true, is it? Well, uh, there is. I guess you... Well, there's gangsters, but there's also a lot of churches. Churches? Yeah, Brooklyn's known as the city of churches. Oh. Could you do a little more, please? A little lower. How old are you? Uh, 18 in October. Really? Me too. What college are you going to? I'm going to the University of Virginia in the fall. I ain't going to any college at all. Why? None of my friends went to college. And I don't, and I don't feel it's important for me to go to college. I got a good job. Oh. Could you do my left shoulder? That's it. That's good, Anthony. Thank you. Here, let me wipe it off. Don't let us interrupt. What are you doing tonight, Cecile? I don't know, tie on the load. <laughs> We're having a 4th of July TNT party. Yeah. What's a TNT party? A TNT party. We cook a big turkey and we drink a lot of tequila. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, tell your friends to come too, okay? I think they want to come. I'll definitely be there. I just want to have some fun. <laughs> well, I got to bring Snooky his pretzel. Catch you later. Bye. See you tonight, Anthony.
Hey, where's the turkey? Yeah, yo, where's the tequila? May I ask the meaning of this intrusion? Uh, hey, everybody, this is like a house party. Keep playing, you guys. You never sounded better. <laughs> Cindy, did you invite these cretins here just so you could see this kid? Come on, Jimmy, I... should have I... never brought you here. You're more trouble than you're worth. Don't say that. I'll tell you one thing. If you don't stay away from him, he's gonna end up in the hospital. You've been hanging out with these guys? Hey, Anthony, you wanna go out and get some fresh air? It's getting kind of stuffy in here. Sure. Not a better time Uncle Vito's funeral. <laughs> and there's no more turkey. <laughs> Seems to me there's lots of turkeys around here. <laughs> trying to do, punk. Hey, I'll just let me tell you something. Crying shame. Let me set you boys straight on something. If you think that you can come into this town and run rampant, you got another guest coming. You just as well heads out to Wildwood because Ocean City does not take this crap. And one more thing. If anybody here comes before me 
I don't care for what, even jaywalking. The whole bunches are going right out of town. A goddamn disgrace. Now get out. And I don't ever want to see us back here again. Oh, my God. All I need is you tonight. Whose idea was this game anyway? Better in fighting. I got a hangover. No playing favorites. Are you questioning my integrity? Play ball! so far. Why don't you ask her out? What are you, a raging? Come on, go ahead. Okay, Cindy. That's a good game, huh? I could think of better things to do. Yeah, me too. So, uh, listen, Cindy. Yeah? Like, uh, are you doing anything tonight? No. You want to hang out at the boardwalk or something like that? I'd love to. Uh, I'll see you later. talk to you? Sure. What's up? You know that blonde girl, Cindy? Yeah. Well, uh, me and her are kind of seeing each other. Yeah, no. My brother almost killed her for it last night. I was supposed to meet her at the beach later. She's a pretty good-looking girl, Anthony. Yeah, that's what I have to talk to you about. Like, uh, what am I supposed to do? I mean, do I talk to her and stuff or what? Like, uh, when you started going out with Angela, did you talk to her at first? Or did you, you know, kind of, well, you know, well, I don't know. Listen, Anthony, when you're dealing with chicks, no two are the same. Like, what went on with me and Angela may not be the same for you and Cindy. Yeah? Yeah, it's like each relationship is different, you know? You understand? I think so. It's like, I mean, you don't have to worry about, should I talk to her, should I kiss her? No, no, and if you worry about those things, then you're never going to do nothing. If you want to talk to her, talk to her. If you want to kiss her, kiss her. You do what you feel is right, capish? Kind of go with the flow, huh? Exactly. It's like when the Mets won the World Series in 1969, remember? When they needed pitching, they got pitching. When they had a hit, they hit. With chicks, is the same thing. Just follow the course of Mother Nature, and you'll be all right. Yeah, I think I got it. Thanks, Mikey. Thanks a lot. Do 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 do
afternoon, Your Highness. I can see you're ecstatic to see me. I really missed you, too. You know, I really do like this place. I may have to get it myself next year. Except I'll have to redecorate it in early Rococo. Is this your first time down here? Looks like it's your first time for a lot of things. You don't have to speak. Just tap your foot once for yes, twice for no. Come on, Cindy, let's get Freudian. Loosen your mandible. Hold booth. One word and you get through. Leave. Why? Why don't you like me? What did I ever do to you? I never did anything to you. I sure would like to, though. You know, you ought to look up your dress for any two-by-fours sticking out of the wrong places. You know what they say about snobs? They all got two-by-fours stuck right up there. Okay, that's enough. Just, just get out of here. Another one of yours, Terry? Not this bozo again. Cindy and I were just having a chat. She's a brilliant conversationalist. But I'll see you all later. Just leaving. I'll see you later, too, Cindy. It's a big game. How's with Debbie? Debbie? Oh, you know, it's the first time for everything, babies. Yeah, really? She wants to lower the rates. Hey, watch it. It's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Wait till you see me at 6. Oh, I can't wait. Come on, a few brews after the game. Lighten up. No, oh, is that what they taught you at Villanova? I refuse to spend the rest of my life watching you in an alcoholic stupor. Listen, you Sue, intellectual hypocrite. Quit moralizing all the time. You know, you weren't such a bitch in high school. Is that what you learned at Vassar? You are impossible. We got a record coming out. Oh, yeah? What label? Cassandra. Oh, yeah. Well, we're negotiating right now with these guys. And, yeah, but if we had a record out, she'd be listening to it. Well, there's other fish in the sea. Yeah, but they ain't biting my bait. That reminds me, Googie, can you lend me a couple of bucks? I'm gonna get that chicken bar a drink. Look, I'm not the bank, and if I was, the bank's closed. Hey, baby, can I buy a drink? Sure, no complaints here. Great. Bartender, two beers. So, uh, what's your sign, love? Stop. Let's go pathetic. Hey, thanks, buddy. Uh, just call me Big Spender. <laughs> Listen, babe, I don't mean to nag you all the time. It's just that you really shouldn't drink so much. Look, I worry about you. Hey, my parents' beach house in Avalon is empty tonight. What do you say we go down there, just the two of us, and get away from all this craziness? Make yourself at home, Billy boy. Why don't you have to open up your big mouth and invite those guys? Oh, don't be such a snob. Wow. It's really nice of them to invite us. Yeah, I guess you're not that much of a bitch after all. I know this is asking a lot, but this is my parents' house, so could you please try not to break any furniture or drink all my father's booze? But you can tell your old man's running a little low on bourbon. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's he's just looking out for little sister. It was a nice game you had today. Yeah, well, you know, when I had a hit, I hit. And when I had a score, I scored. <laughs> Jimmy, don't just sit there. Get this gun. <laughs> 
Get away from me, you drunken slob! Animal should pay for these. I drank a lot of this too, you know. I know. And I'd drink a lot more if you had it. <laughs> mm. I wish I never met you. It was a dark, dark day in both our lives. I never got stuck with a beer brain like you. But come to think of it, the only reason you ever went out with me was to satisfy your foolish male ego. Listen, honey, cut the amateur psychoanalysis. Actually, the only reason I ever went out with you in the first place was to satisfy my throbbing male impulses. How you doing? I'm bored. Want to go for a cruise? Sure. Where you want to go? I don't know. Drive around. As long as we don't run into those guys, I'm sick of everybody fighting. Yeah. You know, it, it cracks me up the way you boss your boyfriend around. Ah, Louie's a good guy, but I don't let nobody tell me what to do. Yeah, I just had a big blowout about that with my girlfriend. Mm, I should say ex-girlfriend. Yeah? Yeah. I just can't take her bitching anymore. Well, why don't you tell her where to go? I kind of did. Good. You shouldn't let nobody tell you what to do. I mean, you're a good-looking guy for crying out loud. You don't need no bossy broad giving you orders. I agree. Yeah, I got a few bucks. I got some money. Let's go to a motel. that by coming down to the shore, I could iron out a few problems. But between my sister, my girlfriend, my parents, 
It's ridiculous. I feel like everyone's tugging at me. What are you talking about? Start thinking about yourself, will you? Let Cindy work out her own life. And your girlfriend, she sounds like a real shit anyway. I mean, you gotta have your independence. Look at the American Revolution. American Revolution? Yeah, the Battle of Brooklyn, August 27, 1776. We lost, but that's besides the point. Those guys came back to win their freedom, and you gotta do the same thing. You gotta be the number one thing in your life. Stop letting other people bring you down. Yeah. I guess it's just because you're such a nice guy. <laughs> Got Snooky and he ain't too bad. Morning, guys. Okay, are we gonna talk about this like mature adults or are we through forever? Leave every hour for Billy. Every hour on the hour, Kathy. Terrific, Cecile. Terrific. You made some wonderful girlfriend. It's nice to know when I'm here sleeping, dreaming of you, you're with some good goods in a hotel. You are going to be a whore the rest of your life. My, my, what a night of love. Bye. Bye. All right, Anthony. Today he is a man. <laughs> Where the hell were you? Where the hell were you? Don't answer me. I asked you first. I know you were with that meatball from downstairs. To life. To love. Oh, come on, Cindy. I hate to see you like this. Yeah, Cindy, I've broken up with guys before. It's not the same. They're all the same, honey. It's so all my brother's fault, the jerk. Yeah, who does he think he is, anyway? Really? Your brother can't even keep his own life straight. But we're leaving tomorrow, and I may never see Anthony again. What do you need Anthony for? He's gonna turn out to be an uneducated bum anyways. Or maybe a gangster. But I love him! Ew, he's so greasy. You want to go to the amusement park or go on some rides or something? It's closed now. Oh, don't be sad, Cindy. You remember how bummed out I was when I broke up with Frank Canino. I'm not breaking up with Anthony. Jimmy's breaking up with Anthony. I think we should follow her. No, she's better off by herself now. Pass the wine. What do you want? Can I talk to Cindy? He wants to talk to Cindy. Just for a second. Well, she's not here.
Hey, I thought I told you to stay away from my sister. Get your hands off of me. She is. She ain't even home. Well, where is she? You seem to know where she is all the time. You're always there, punk. Hey, you guys, keep it down. We're trying to get drunk. Hey, Terry, where's my sister at? I don't know. She went for a walk. Where? where? She asked us if we wanted to go to the amusement park, but it's closed. This is all your fault. Now beat it before I break your scrawny neck. Oh, God. <laughs>
Don't you talk to me! That kind of stuff went out with Fred Flintstone. I'm into fisticuffs, the civilized method of fighting. I don't want to be civilized. Now you want me to stay, but my heart's on holiday. So you never had good goods? No, no, what's good goods? Well, good goods, right? It's a squash, right? You put it in a frying pan. Oh, it's like you wouldn't believe it's so good. That sounds really neat. You know, in Philly, we got the best cheesesteaks out of anybody. Cheesesteaks? Oh, I love cheesesteaks. Oh, oh, oh. Do you ever have pickles on pizza? Pickles on pizza? I love pickles on pizza. <laughs> I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're kind of cute, too. <laughs> and baby, that's the phrase. <laughs> Wait till I tell her Rosie about Anthony. Don't you take all the credit. I brought him together, you know. What can I say but rock and roll?